The political landscape in the United States is heating up. Presidential elections are set for next year, and the two main presidential candidates, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, are both entangled in legal battles and troubles, although in varying magnitude. While Donald Trump recently faced his fourth indictment, a long-running investigation into U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, may also be heading for a jury trial. The five-year probe appeared near its end last month, Hunter Biden agreeing to resolve tax and gun offenses and avoid prison time. But the case has since taken several dramatic twists and turns. Now the Republicans are intensifying their attacks on the Biden family father. House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy recently made the following allegations. He said Biden's family created 20 shell companies when Biden was vice president, adding that Biden family got between 16 to 17 payments from Romania. Biden said he had nothing to do with family business. McCarthy even alleged that Biden's family got money from China. Just last week, Chairman of the House Committee on Oversight and Accountability, James Comer, who is a Republican lawmaker, released documents that revealed how the president's family members and their business associations received over $20 million from foreign oligarchs during the time when Biden was vice president. Republicans say the Biden family used these shell companies to hide foreign money as the race to the presidential election hits up. The issue of Biden's shell companies and his son's tax case is said to be exploited by Republicans. With this, Republicans intend to counter the questions on Trump's legal troubles. Let's talk more about this. Our correspondent Susan Tehran is now joining us live from New York. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. What's the latest on the Hunter Biden case? And it seems Democrats and Republicans are going at each other over this case and Joe Biden's intentions of being president again from next year. Tell us more about that. Right, so we did learn, Eric, that Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer said that he wants and expects that President Biden himself to testify before Congress, saying, quote, unquote, this is going to end up in court when we subpoena the Bidens. Now, we do know that Hunter Biden's case may eventually end up in court, considering the fact that uh, the prosecutor has been now granted special counsel status, which means that a trial is very likely. And while the president's team continues to push back on these allegations, and it's very unlikely that President Biden will ultimately testify in front of Congress, uh, it still puts the president and his family uh, in the news and creates headlines that is more of a headache than not uh, for Joe Biden, as you mentioned, who wants to run for 2024. And if we have time, I just want to let you know that Gerald Ford, back in 1974, did testify willingly. Uh, to Congress. He talked about why he pardoned Richard Nixon and Abraham Lincoln has also testified once before Congress. But that's basically since the 70s. No one has. No president at least. All right. Thank you very much for that update. I've been talking to our correspondent Susan Tehrani live from New York. Thanks, Susan. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.